Guten Tag, practicing my German. <laughs> it's new bike day today, and we're gonna have a look at this bike, it's the Canyon from Germany. So we're gonna have a look in this video, how to order your Canyon, and we're gonna unbox this one. Like all Kenyan bikes, they all come from Germany. This one was ordered on the 30th of March and freighted via UPS freight service. It arrived on the 3rd of May. That's 34 days. Now, 34 days is quite reasonable. Kenyan did have supply time problems in the past, but it seems they've certainly tidied that up and got their act together, and it's really good now. When you order your bike, it will come in the bike box, of course. That is just the stock bike. If you order any accessories or anything additional has to be added, it will come in a separate box. So here I've ordered some extras. The traditional way you buy your bicycle is the manufacturer makes a profit when it goes to the distributor. Then the distributor makes a profit when they sell to the bike shop. Then the bike shop makes a profit when they sell the bicycle to you. Today, you can sit back in your lounge room, a few clicks on your computer, phone or tablet, and you can order your bicycle direct from the manufacturer. And with Canyon, it's definitely quality. A quality product, quality service, and quality delivery, all while saving you money. So, let's show you how easy it is to order from Canyon. Go to the Canyon website and select the model of bicycle you'd like to purchase. Select the colour you like. And now to sizing. As you can see, some sizes say in stock. That means as soon as you pay for the bike, it'll be shipped to you. But with some sizes, like this extra large, it says 29th of May to 3rd of June. That means it won't be available till about that time. But if you pay for it, as soon as they're available, it'll be shipped to you. Make sure you're happy with the components. If not, if you want to go up or down a grade, then just go back and select the model with the components that you want. Note that most of the Kenyan bicycles do not come supplied with pedals, but that's okay. You can go to accessories and order pedals from Kenyan anyhow, or you may have your own pedals in mind. And now to get your sizing right. The two most important measurements for your right size is C, the top tube length, and B, the seat tube length. If that's all confusing, just go by your height. Here I've circled it in red. It's got a minimum and a maximum height that you can be for certain sizes. It's actually very accurate. The next important measurement is the head stem length and the handlebar width. These sizes were selected by Canyon as the best for the bicycle that you're looking at. If you find you need to change sizing, don't panic you can swap them for a different size with your nearest Canyon office. That's it for the bicycle, now over to accessories. And the number one item that would be wise to buy is a rear derailleur hanger. Then you'll have peace of mind that you've always got a spare hanger. And there's lots of other goodies you can buy from Canyon also. My personal favorite is this Canyon toddler's bike. As soon as Canyon send off your bicycle to you, you'll be notified by email and you'll get a tracking number. Here's the tracking information for this bike. Started off in Germany and went to Philadelphia. From Philadelphia to Kentucky, from Kentucky to Honolulu, then from Honolulu to Australia, Sydney. From Sydney to Melbourne and then to Adelaide. So let's get to and cut it open. Invoices, always keep your paperwork, shipping paperwork and invoices, always keep them just in case. Okay, so first of all, we've got a Canyon sticker kit and two water bottles with Canyon logos and two water bottle pages. So just for your own reference, the bottles are tax, made in Holland, of course, good quality. The water bottle cages are 
made in Taiwan and they're quite strong and they come with little stainless steel bolts by the look of it. Um, so the water bottle cages don't come with your bike if you want some um, you'll have to buy your own separate cages so I just went with the Kenyan cage. And the stickers, we'll have a look at the stickers now. The quality of the stickers were only average. They were pre-cut around each word Kenyan but they didn't seem to come away when you try and peel them off so I had to cut them individually with my scissors. So there's three different colours, black, white and silver, in five different sizes. Now with the box, the first thing you notice is it's the same length as a normal bike box and the same height, but it's wider, it's considerably wider than the normal bicycle box. The box seemed to be in good condition, not beaten up in transport, and it didn't take half an hour to cut through all the excess packing tape to open it up. Very simply packed. This box here had the accessories, whilst this box here was empty, but part of the packaging. I was surprised to see the frame wasn't wrapped in any protection at all. That's because the frame wasn't really touching anything else. Here I'm just being super careful, but really all you need to do is hold the box with one hand and pull the centre of the bike out with the other hand. It comes out very easily. Very well thought out packaging. The bike was held in the middle of the box by two large cardboard blocks on the rear wheel. Instead of using lots of packing tape, which you need scissors to cut through, Canyon use a series of foam pads on Velcro straps. Right, let's open up the accessories or parts box, not to be confused with the accessories that you order separately. This little booklet here explains how to completely assemble your bicycle from the box to a complete bike. Because you'll be tightening up bolts clamping carbon fibre parts, you'll need a torque wrench and Canyon supplies a very simple but effective one. A bicycle user's manual and some assembly paste, which you will definitely be using. The user's manual will provide you about 60 pages of reading, and it's in 17 different languages. On the back page of the manual, there's a DVD that contains extensive PDF files by all the parts manufacturers that Canyon uses great reference material and hours of reading. This bag contains bits and pieces of which you may or may not use. Brake caliper spacers for your disc brakes, various reflectors, various parts instructions. If you're going to go tubeless with your tyres then you'll need these tubeless valve stems. This is a 4mm torque wrench. You may or may not need it on your model of Canyon. The main torque wrench that comes with your Canyon bike comes with different size Allen key fittings. Right, let's get into unwrapping this bike. Very easy to do. All you need to do is undo the Velcros of these pads. I always find it best to unwrap a new bicycle on a carpeted floor. That way if anything falls, it hasn't got far to go and it's got a soft landing and won't get damaged. When releasing your handlebars, be careful not to kink the cables. So starting at the steering end, undo your head stem plate bolts. And if you're not sure about using a torque wrench, have a read of this instruction leaflet. And as you go along assembling your bicycle, you'll find lots of labels and stickers warning you of how to and how not to do certain things. Time to use some assembly paste on your handlebar and head stem. Before applying any of the paste, make sure the surfaces are clean and oil free. Now apply the paste to all surfaces that come in contact with each other.
some assembly paste on the head stem face plate and on the handlebars where the head stem clamps. Face plate on and the four bolts in. Just put them in firmly and don't worry about doing them up with the torque wrench yet. Take off a few more pads. Taking off the pads on the wheels, it looks like that the tyre was squashed a little bit, but it was fine. Okay, I'm going to put the bike on the stand now, and if you've got a stand like this, then you need to take out the through axle, axle, through axle, axle. So take that out of the packet, and you'll need that for that part there. Next is the seat pole plunger. I just undo the bolt a little bit there. Don't undo it all the way because you might you lose the bit down the seat tube. So that's that bit and just drop that in. It's already got grease on the thread of the bolt. Now if you read in the assembly manual it says that Canyon put every bike to the test. So I assume that means that they assemble the bike fully and go for a little ride. Well you can certainly, certainly tell that on the seat post there's a bit of red undercoat paint. See that? So the seat post has been put in, so I assume the bike has been tested. So you've used your carbon assembly grease on your handlebar and stem, now it's time to put some on the seat pole. Don't go all the way up your seat pole, not necessary, only how far you go in to your seat tube on the frame. So put a nice even coating on your seat post, and then you can put some on your finger, and just put some on the inside of the tube as well, on the frame. And get some of that paste on the push plate of the plunge bolt as well. So that's that bit on there. Right, so now you're ready to put this all in. That should just fall in. So don't push it all the way down. Actually, it'd be a good idea just to tighten it firmly. Not all the way, just a little bit. And you can do your seat height later. Right, at this stage I can't concentrate seeing these ugly, dangerous plastic reflectors on the wheels. So they're coming off. They're dangerous because at speed, you're going down a hill or something, and maybe not to yourself, but definitely to other riders around you. They can just fling off and smash into lots of pieces. So too dangerous, they're coming off and they're ugly. Here's another sticker. It says you can register your wheels separately from your bicycle for warranty purposes. Right, so the bike doesn't come with pedals. You have to provide your own pedals. So I'm going for look, I always use look pedals on all my bikes, that way I can swap shoes and hop on any bike I want with any pair of shoes. So here we go, brand new pair of Look Kios. They're on special, but they're still very nice. Right, so they're going on. And always put a nice layer of grease on your pedal threads. Not assembly paste, grease. Spoke protector. Another piece of plastic is just going to flap around, so that's got to come off as well. Time to put the bottle cages on now, and there's two screws on the seat tube and three screws on the down tube. Between the two bottle cage screws on the down tube, there's another hole. This is the E389 hose guide. Yep, it holds the hydraulic hose for your rear brake, so it doesn't clank on the inside of your frame. Now we'll clean up some of the excess assembly paste using methylated spirits. Well that's it, all done, all assembled. 
Um, I've put a few stickers on extra and changed the tyres just to match the red, nothing special. When you uh, assemble your bike, don't go squeezing your front brake without your front wheel in with hydraulic disc brakes because they'll end up losing uh, fluid. And your spacer here, if you do take your wheel out, you can use your spacer, which of course should be in there when you get your bike. So don't go squeezing that brake as a warning. Don't squeeze your brake without something in the brake caliper. Uh, the front brake cable is a little bit long, a little bit floppy there, so that's no problem. They uh, leave them long for packaging purposes because you've got to turn your handlebars right around and all that, so it's not to uh, damage your cable. So I'll be cutting that. You can do the same with your bike. If you find any cables too long, just give it a cut. That's no problem at all. Now with the disc wheels here on the new bikes there, not quick release anymore they're through axle if you're not familiar with through axle it's actually very very simple just turn the bike around just to show you okay so here you got a little handle on the back you give it a hard yank and it will come off and that handle it's a six millimeter allen key and that will fit your front as well so you can take the wheels on and off using that. You either take a multi-tool when you go for a ride, usually there'll be an Allen key on that, or you can take that with you, whichever you want to do. So that's how you do your through axles. Keep your bike box and packaging. Kenyon call it a bike guard. Great for if you want to go somewhere, uh, like on a flight, package your bike safely and you can go. If you haven't got the room or just don't want to keep all this mess, that's fine. At least keep these things, these five little velcro protective slabs they just fold up like this you can wind them up like that and they're real light and small you can just put them somewhere very handy to keep these things at least well that about wraps it up for this unboxing video i've gone for a ride down the street a couple of times made a few little adjustments and tightening things and it's great really good um, one thing i will uh, change which is slightly different my other road bikes is the stem it's slightly too short for me personally I spoke to Canyon guys and they're going to uh, swap over for the next size up stem so that's really good and you can do the same if your bike's new and you want to make some sort of a change speak to your local Canyon guys and they'll certainly be able to help you um, the only other change I might make is a physics seat here it comes with I'm not sure about if I'm going to be comfortable with this particular seat so we'll give it a go that's another thing you might change it's a personal thing seats are very personal the same with your geometry so the next video will be after a couple of months uh, riding it and we'll let you know how we go.